Hello, in this video I will show you how you can get started with your personal island. Many players have been asking for a guide like this. As you know, personal island can be a very nice way of daily silver income. But to get that profits, you need to know how to properly use your private island. To make even more silver, you can have multiple islands, so your profit will be much much higher. Player island can be excellent investment if you want to do millions daily. So let's get started. To buy your personal island you will need to have a premium. And I'm not talking about that 3 days premium which you get to the start. I'm talking about this premium which you can get for real money or for silver. If you will have your premium you need to go to island merchant where you can buy your first island. Your personal island uh, max level is 6, you can unlock each one by paying for it. First you need to buy level 1 personal island, this will cost you about 20k, so that's not much even for new player. Then you will be able to buy level 2, then level 3 and so on. With higher levels uh, you will get more plots where you can set your buildings. After buying your islands you can teleport to it by two ways. First is Island Merchant, which is in every city, and the second way is through Travel Planner, uh, which is in every city too. If you want to teleport to your personal island with some items, you won't have to pay it only if the island is located in the town you are in right now. So, for example, if your island is in Martlock and you're in Martlock with some equipment, you won't have to pay for teleporting to your island. But if you are in Tetford and your island is in Martlock, you will have to pay to transport there uh, some items. So have that in mind. Where should you buy your first island? And the answer is, to be honest, it doesn't matter at all. I would recommend you buying your island in the city, which is your main. Because then you will be able to keep your items on your island in the case if you wouldn't have more place in your banks in city. How to give an access to your friends. You can give access to your friends for teleporting to your island. You can do it here. If you got some alt accounts, you can give the right as co-owner to them and that can be very helpful. You will be able to manage your island from many characters. In the visitor tab, you can give access for people that will can visit you on your island, for example, to your friends. Now I will show you which buildings are worth building and how to build something. To build something, press H and you will see a tab with all the buildings that you can build on your island. Now we're gonna go through some buildings and we're gonna talk if they are worth building or are they not worth building. And in this economy tab, uh, it's not worth building anything on your island uh, because you wouldn't get any resources back. And if you would build them on your island, you wouldn't get any return when crafting, so it's not actually worth doing it. In the next tab, farming, uh, we got Alchemist Lab, and uh, it's not worth building Alchemist Lab on your island because you won't get any return. Uh, when it comes to cook, uh, me myself got a cook on my island because I craft uh, a lot of fish sauces. And I just go to a but uh, butcher, uh, I'm making chopped fish from my fishes and then in cook I'm making all my fish sauces, so that's very comfy to, to do that on your island. Uh, when it comes to other buildings, uh, in my opinion it's good to have a meal because uh, you such fish uh, in towns at mills are very high and it's not worth crafting anything, even with the focus, because the usage fee is so high that when crafting there you will only lose the silver, so it's very good to have a mill uh, on your island, in my opinion. When it comes to other buildings, uh, it's very good to have a butcher on your island, uh, me myself got a butcher, uh, to just make uh, some chopped fish or some uh, other meals. Uh, you don't need saddler because saddler uh, needs some return rate uh, and the most probably the most important farm 
uh, if you want to grow crops on your island, you need to build a farm. Later I will show you how to build. To grow uh, herbs uh, on your island, you need, to, uh, b you need to build a herb garden. And when it comes to uh, growing animals on your island, there are two types. There is pasture and kennel. And kennel is for beasts. For example, look. Uh, the... Uh, let me check. The uh, pasture is for uh, animals like horses, oxes. Kennel is for animals like uh, stags, grey wolves, swift clothes and mammoths. So uh, these animals uh, which you breed in kennel are called beasts and in my opinion they are worth breeding but only on higher level uh, of your specs. When it comes to other tab, the military tab, uh, don't build anything from this tab because to uh, get profit from crafting uh, something in these buildings you will need a return and if you would build something uh, on your island you wouldn't get any return and the last tab houses uh, the guild house and usual house to build house just click on it uh, find a free plot uh, and just click pay to build it then you need to just uh, give the re uh, resources and the building will be done and when it comes to building uh, farming plots, uh, it's the same thing, just press H, uh, go to farming tab, uh, get uh, choose the farm, uh, if you want to ground sow crops, uh, find the free plot and just build, that's all. There are many ways that you can profit with uh, on your personal island. In every case, the more islands you, you will have, the more profit you will gain. But uh, you will have to spend more time on managing your islands. The most common three ways are farming, animal breeding and laborers. I will make a special longer video about every way of making silver on your island, so I won't talk much about that method now. As you can see, I'm growing carrots, but that's only because I'm lazy and I don't want uh, and I don't have time to manage my island. If you would want to start growing any plants and uh, you would want to check what is profitable to grow, I will link uh, in the description a website where you can check it. When it comes to animal breeding, you need to have some silver to start with, and in my opinion, it's not the best way of making silver from your island for newer players because uh, you need to wait a bit for your profits. You will start profiting later when you will breed higher level animals. And the last way of making silver, laborers. It's the best way of making silver from your island. Profits are unlimited because the more islands you will have with laborers, the more silver you will gain every day. How to make profit on laborers? Buy from them empty journals, fill them up and give them back full journals. After a couple hours, they will give you back empty journals and some resources. I will talk about how to set up laborers, how to set up houses for them, and which laborers are the most profitable in the next video. And there is one more way of earning silver from your island. If you have got one and you are not using it, you can rent it for some other players for silver. A lot of players are looking for islands that they can rent so we can even make profit from not using your island. And if you got your island, you can even stash items on, on your island and I will show you how. Uh, to stash your items on your island, you need to have at least tier 4 adept's house. Then you need to go to the market and buy a chest that you can stash your items in. Uh, now let's head to the market. Mm, look for chest. Tier 4. You can buy even tier 5. I'm not sure is, if there is a tier 6. But you can buy tier 5. Uh, I mean tier 4. It's probably the best but because it's only 6k. So that's very cheap. I will buy 2. 
Now go to your island. Go to your house and set up your chest. And that's all, you got your chest now. You don't have to pay for an extra tab in your bank in your city. And you can even uh, give access rights like, uh, like for your island. So that's pretty cool. That's all in this video. I hope it helped you understand how personal islands work. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a subscription, like and a comment. That's all. See you in the next one.